Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I will discuss how you can use web developer tools and mainly the console window. Let me open the browser to show you the web developer tools. To get web developer tools, just press F12 or navigate to menu, more tools and select developer tools. Or you can right click on the web page and select inspect and this will bring up the web developer tools. This is the web developer tools. By using the web developer tools, you can see all the elements on a web page under the elements tab along with its CSS. Under the console window, you can use standard JavaScript statement and console specific command while the page is live inside the browser to help you debug the page. You can write JavaScript statements directly inside the console window and you can see the result of JavaScript statements inside the browser at runtime. Let me write a simple JavaScript statement. I will alert welcome to console window. I will press enter and this is the result of alert JavaScript statements. So you can write JavaScript statement inside the console window and you can see the result inside the browser at runtime. Let me write one another JavaScript statement. Document dot write. I will write the same message again. Welcome to console window. I'll press enter and you can see the result of document dot write inside the browser and the document dot write JavaScript statement simply display the message on HTML page. So you can directly write JavaScript statement inside the console window and you can see the result in a browser. You can clear the console window by clicking on this clear icon and by pressing control L. You can close it by this close icon and if you want to move this web developer tools, you can click on this icon and there are some options. If you want to position it on the right side, you can place it on the right side. And if you want it to separate from the Chrome window, you can separate it from the Chrome window. Let me bring it at the bottom again. You can also write multiple JavaScript statement inside the console window by pressing shift and enter. Let me show you. I will write alert test and now I will press shift plus enter and it will allow me to the new line and then I can write another statement document dot write and test and now I can enter to execute these two lines at the same time. This is the alert box and this is the result of this document dot write. So you can run any JavaScript statement inside this console window and you can see the output. Beside that, you can log different type of messages to the console window. Let me open the brackets code editor. I have this simple HTML document and inside that I have linked external JavaScript file, myscript.js. This is the external JavaScript file. To log a message to the console window, I will write console.log and inside that I will write my message. This is log message. I will save it and let us see the result of this index.html file inside the browser. I will open it inside the browser. I will right click select inspect. Under the console window you will see this log message. This log message is the result of this JavaScript statement console.log. So you can log different type of messages to the console window. Let us log an error message. If you want to output an error message, write console.error and you can add your message. This is an error. Let me save it and let us see the result in the browser. You can see this error message along with its icon. This is the result of console.error. Let us write some more messages to the console window. To add an info, you can write console.info and 
add an info to console i will save it and let's see the result again inside the browser i will click on refresh and here you can see this is an info message along with its icon let us write one more statement which will be to output warning i will use console dot warn and this is your first warning i will save it and i will show you the result inside the browser refresh so you can see the warning message along with its icon so you can log different type of messages to the console window and you can also run javascript statement inside the console window and you can see the result in the browser at the runtime so in this video i just wanted to give you an idea about the console window thanks